What a cooking class you have found here on your television once again at KCTS 9 Cooks. What's the value of that to you? All right, give us a call, 1-800-443-1999 and support the fun you're having right now. Kitchen classics, everyday recipes, and if we got one to share now, salmon lovers, salmon lovers, time to watch for this one. It's a Scandinavian salmon soup. Elise Laylor of Issaquah is kind enough to come in and share us this wonderful kitchen classic via Finland, and I have to ask, how did you come about with this recipe? How did it come into your world every day? No, almost every Finn and Scandinavian have their own fish soup. But my husband and I, a couple of years ago, on the way back to visit my family in Finland, we stopped in um, Norway mm -hmm. and took the Hurtigruten from Bergen up to Trondheim. And someone, one of my clients had told me that they have a world's best fish soup in Bergen. So I decided to taste it and then I we went several fishing villages and I decided that I'm going to try the, all of the fish soups. What okay. a great thing to do yeah. when you travel. I'm ready. Show me. <laughs> okay. So we'll start my soup that is from Finland. Okay. With um, butter and uh, onions. So and when you found the perfect fish soup, yeah. did you ask the chef for the recipe? No, I asked you know, yes. how it was done. But okay. I don't think that they gave a recipe. And then you, of yeah. course, had to figure it out from Yes, there. yes. And then the, these are spring onions. Beautiful from spring the onions. Farmer's market. Mm -hmm. I got them from Issaquah Farmer's Market this morning. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And uh, it's nice to have some fresh products. Are these year round? Do we find this year no, round? This is no. uh, just this time. This is the time of year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the rest of the year, do you just use a regular white onion? Yeah, you could use leeks. Oh, uh, leeks would be beautiful yeah. with this. Yeah, so that would be nice. And um, so we'll put all this here. And this, you should let it kind of a simmer for 15, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so you're so going to get then, these really soft. Yeah, translucent. Right. And then um, you add potatoes. Okay. And I have the baby potatoes and you would um, cut them in the halves or quarters, whatever you like, mm -hmm. and you'll saute them with the onions. Okay. Okay. And um, they want to see if there's any secret in the way you're chopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. we're going to pretend that this has cooked for about yeah. 15 yeah. minutes we have, I have. and that these onions have really softened up. Yeah. And then we add you could be a little more patient with this at home. Yes. <laughs> yes. So put those potatoes in. Now, are we looking for a little brown on the potatoes? Or no, just soften we'll them? just let them to kind of oops, have a flavor of the onions okay. in yeah. them. Yeah, they're going to yes. absorb the onion flavor. Yes. And we haven't added any water, any fluid, any sauce, Not just anything. the butter. Just no, the butter. but then we have fish stock. Oh, that, that, oh there we yeah. go, see? And it's I'm sometimes a little bit hard to find fish stock. You can make your own. That would be good, but um, I got mine from the local fish market in Issaquah. Oh, mm -hmm. good for you. Now, really if good. you live in an area that doesn't have a fish market and you can't find fish stock in your store, would it be okay to use clam stock or I clam use, juice? Yes, uh, that would you be You can fine. usually yeah. find clam juice. And how long would you cook this with the potatoes before you add the stock? Uh, about 20 minutes. Okay. And then you add the stock and you let it boil about 15 minutes, so the okay. potatoes are done, and almost done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fish stock is pretty simple to make, Carol. Yes, it's very, and it's I mean, very, I mean, very fast. Of all the stocks, it's super fast because fish bones are only this big, so fish stock yeah. is like I was 20 a, minutes, half hour tops. I was at a fish camp up in Canada one time, and the, the cook there was like, you know, here's your salmon, Mark, but I, I, I took the head yeah. <laughs> and made a fish stock, and I was like, mm -hmm. really? Yeah, it's, it's easy Beautiful. to do, so look yeah. into that. Look but at this gorgeous piece of salmon we have here. Set it down. Yeah. Okay. What's Beautiful your, piece what's of your salmon. preferred choice of, of salmon? Here? No, I, this is a saka. It kind a of a, mm. it holds well in the soup. Mm -hmm. And then you want to check that all the pin bones are out. Right. Nobody can, wants soup with yeah. bones in it. No, <laughs> and I had some some little tweezers. Yeah, tweezers here, but they were here a second it's, ago. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you'll you'll just take them out and uh, then cut the fish in a bite-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is without the skin. 
Okay. Okay, I'll just do a check because yeah. I want to make. Okay, yeah. so you've taken a skin yeah. off of there. Yeah. All right. And of course, ask your fishmonger to do that if you're yes. not real well versed in it because they are and they can do it zip zop. That's true. And then you cut it on uh, pieces that you like to serve it on. And those extra little yeah. bones, this is where you'd see them, where you can pull them out, like you said, with your tweezers. Yeah, and, yeah, you'll feel them with your, the, your fingertips. You do. And uh, you just add this on the last five minutes into the soup. Was this one filet, is this just the normal amount of salmon you'd put in, or would you yeah. put in more? Uh, this, no, really, it depends, one filet? Uh, it depends, you know, how many eaters okay. you have. Well, that's sure. a hefty pot of soup yeah. going there. Right? Yeah, so we'll add Doesn't this in here. Doesn't take much to make the, Salmon soup here, the Scandinavian salmon soup is a kitchen classic of okay. at least lay lower here. It physical. smells amazing. Yeah. And then we let that to cook and okay. uh, it will be you done in the five, the six minutes. Done? Yes. And then for the final, we'll add some whipped cream. Okay. You whip the cream into soft peaks. We're going like, to do a little yeah. magic of yeah. television okay. thing Go back here. to the cream. What kind okay. of cream did you say this was? Uh, heavy cream. Just heavy cream. Yeah, so you'll just whip it in the soft. Okay, I thought you said whipped cream, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute here. Okay. <laughs> and then, heavy of course, cream whipped up. we add a lot of Scandinavian wheat, mm, a.k.a. Yes. dill. dill. <laughs> yes. And... Uh, that Your is, accent is really adding to the flavor. I'm excited it is. for the i got to say. It is something that I can't get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so rid of it. We yeah. like it. No, so I I'll add the it. dill. Dill goes into the soup. Yeah. And so does the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. That was only a few minutes to get to that point. Yeah. We were so. adding the, the cream here. And, oh, and then you'll kind of fold it in. Okay. <laughs> and Shall then we pull that together. Yeah. Is this making you hungry yet? <laughs> but it makes it nice and soft when oh you my serve goodness. it. And then we can have a little bit more dill for the decoration here. And at this point, you could add a little bit salt and pepper. You taste it. Yeah. Taste the seasonings. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll take one of the ladles here. Mm. Yeah. Just let it. Elise, I think we have yet another Sunday dinner, or maybe this will be a Saturday <laughs> night supper. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, and look at this. To... Within 20 minutes, we've done all this. Mm -hmm. And you've seen it come together. I mean, this is what would happen at your house if it's you were to sit down. It's very and, and make easy it to do. I know, in your mind you're saying, I can do this, I can do this. You really can. <laughs> you can do it's this. Be it's not a lot of ingredients, certainly things that are readily available. Have you ever yeah. made this with another kind of fish? I have, You yes. I have done halibut and cod you could do. And I'll add a little, little bit. of this With all there. the fun competitions we hear around uh -oh. Western Washington, British Columbia, chowder here. Yes. Have you ever tried to enter this in a contest? <laughs> No, not this. I, I think that uh, this is not really, it, it's so easy to make. You would think that you would need for Founders something I, more I don't know. I'm thinking extravagant. <laughs> some of these people in the hours and hours we spend on a chowder for competition. Yes. Oh, yes. Th this could be one that uh, somebody oh, grabs. You should think about that. Yeah. Okay. And add your twist to it. Play yeah. with it. Don't have any fear. I hope you like it. Oh, you are, you're, he's armed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay. Okay, let's go for it. Get a little bit of. A little bit of everything. There we go. Yeah. I want a whole party in my mouth. A little bit the, deal. The party in the mouth is coming. You ready? Go for it. All right. Mmm. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Scandinavian salmon suit. It's there. That was great. The things we learn on vacation, the inspiration, the idea. Very nice. A kitchen Thank classic. You. And it's going to be a kitchen classic for you. You just found another way to play with salmon and have the family really get into it here. And High rotation, a classic recipe yes. like this every week at your house. Thank you so much for sharing this. Thank I'm you. I'm glad you went on the kitchen. You can shake Thank my hand now. <laughs> Lisa, you've done it. Yeah. You've done well here. It's in Thank the cookbook. You. That's what makes KCTS 9 Cooks a hit all Try. these years. 1-800-443-1999. And online, you bet. Have a look at kcts9.org. I know you're call smiling. Us. It's time to make the phone call. <laughs> you know, you just learned it. Call that us. salmon recipe you've been looking for. Another recipe coming up. Thank <laughs> you.